BoxingWords.com live here with TJ Thomas Velasquez. So talk to us, man. Fight's coming up about a week, maybe 18 days away. i seen you guys working on movement. What sparked that? Uh, there's just something in the camp. I wasn't moving enough. I want to get more head movement out of this fight so I can box. Just have a feeling that the guys are going to rush in. So if you rush in, when you pivot, uppercuts, work them on the body, just slow them down. Just, just trying to be able to have more mobility in the ring. Put more tools in the toolbox? Yeah. Now, I've seen you also, um, you know, working on getting out of the clinch, which is something that you don't see most fighters work on, but something that's definitely needed. Um, you can only pick that up with experience. What prompted that? Uh, my dad. And that's what really did it. He said he saw me clinch one time, and all I do is, like, I let him hold me, and if I see an opening, I just throw one punch. Now he wants me to throw more punches, so he tries to hold me more so I can see, like, have a good feel of how... I should get out of every situation, depending on how they hold me. So November 12th is obviously upon us. Have you gotten an opponent yet? I uh, hear yes, but I don't know who he is. So still not definite, or it is a definite opponent? Uh, yeah, no. It's definite. It's definite, but I don't know. Like I said. So how do you prepare for the guy you don't know? I'm fighting a monster. That's how I prepare. Okay. I'm fighting myself. So um, I have to box him. That's the only way I'm going to beat him, if he's good like me. So. If you're not, then boxing should be easy. Does it make it any more difficult not knowing the person, not being able to watch any tape or fights on them? No, it's actually easier because it makes me train harder because I'm not, I don't know what to expect from the uh, other opponent. So I'm just training for the best opponent that's out there. Now talk to me a little bit about these ticket sales. I mean, your father's telling me how big of a ticket sale you are here in uh, the Philadelphia area. You're going to be obviously fighting here on this undercard with Danny Garcia in your hometown. And how, how does it feel to get this hometown fight? It's amazing. That just gave me goosebumps right now. Got lost in, you can't see it, but it's amazing. I could just walk to the Leah Court Center. It's gonna be a long walk, but I can walk there. And it's everybody, everybody, my family, my grandma's coming to this fight. She never went to none. My amateur, she's gonna be here. So it's gonna be amazing. City of brotherly love. And Sounds my brother's like gonna be there. Sounds like a lot of pressure to impress now. You got grandma coming out for the first time. Aguelita ain't seen yeah. you fight yet. So I'm going to have to show her what I've been getting into. That's <laughs> what that mean. So what, what, give me your prediction. What do you expect November 12th? How do you see the result of uh, TJ Bashwood's fight? Right. Well, you and all the viewers know what's going to happen. But me not knowing, I can't really tell you exactly what's going to happen. But I'm going to say a knockout because that's what I want. But... I'm gonna come up victorious, you already know. That's really it. Hopefully I get a body shot to take the guy out and not no head shot. That'd be love. Why body and not head? Because I want him to see and feel how it's going rather than him being out. Okay, okay. So give me any social media that you have in case someone is crazy enough not to be following TJ yet they can do so. My Instagram and Twitter is Team Velasquez215. I mean Team Velasquez underscore. And uh, Facebook is TJ Velasquez T dot J dot. That's All it. right, man. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right.